pips and points. So this is going to be quite an important tutorial because a lot of people get these things confused and I'd really like to help you uh, get started in the Forex market um, knowing these things right away so there's no question about it. Um, so let's look at the four digit system to start with. In the four digit system uh, any currency pair has four digits after um, the decimal point. So uh, except for Japanese based uh, currency pairs with Japan, Japanese yen is a, a quoted currency but we'll talk about that later. So uh, the four digit system, four digits off to the point, the decimal point and um, the last digit is the minimum change. So the last digit is the fourth uh, digit and that means the minimum change that any currency pair can experience is 0 0.0001 units of the quoted currency. Um, so the minimum change is always called one point. And this uh, value on the right, 0 0.0001, is called one pip. And that's important to keep these things in your mind separately. The minimum change is one point, and one pip is 0 0.0001. So in this case, the minimum change is equal to 0 0.0001, and that means one point is exactly equal to one pip. And that's going to be the case for every single currency pair if it is quoted in the four digit quoting system. So let's go back to our example of the spread. We calculate the spread as ask minus bid uh, for the Australian dollar and was uh, 0 0.0007 Australian dollars. So let's, let's express this now in uh, points and pips. This is equal to seven points because um, it's seven, um, seven times the minimum change this currency pair can experience and it's also equal to seven pips because this is equal to seven times 0 0.0001.